since I've been posting so many miniature themed videos, I thought it would make a nice change to do something completely different. So in this video, I'm going to cover how to make wearable crowns. I have four crowns to share with you, ranging from easy paper crowns to more complicated wireframe crowns. So let's get started with the first paper crown. I constructed this first paper crown using images from the collage sheet that you see here called the Many French Labels. And I chose it because it has all of these different uh, design pieces that I thought would work well to layer them on top of each other to create something that looks a little bit more uh, sophisticated and complicated. And um, the pieces that I chose for the front of the crown, you can see those there. I cut them all out. And um, the center, I'm going to use uh, the long strip with the um, woman in the black and white. And then I'm going to take the other pieces and layer those behind that main area. So the first thing I did is I combined, uh, I added one of the pieces to the back of the crown. And you can see here the piece it is, and then you can see it in place. And then I came back in and added uh, two more pieces to the back of the crown. And um, the one is one of the design pieces, and then the, the picture of the, of the woman is the next uh, piece that I laid behind. And then to take the crown all the way around uh, the head, I'm using two strips of Dresden. Um, and I just used my own head as the measurement for that. And so um, I'm attaching the two pieces of Dresden behind that, um, that main center area that's going to be at the center of the crown. And then if you take a closer look here, after I glue uh, the Dresden to the back of that center area, I'm using another little decorative strip from the collage sheet to kind of connect the two pieces together, give it a nicer transition between that center section and the Dresden itself. And then to further dress it up um, and to, you know, kind of make that, that, that first connection right there look a little bit better, I'm using another, another piece of Dresden, this little star-shaped, um, star-looking starburst or sunburst type uh, piece of Dresden in that uh, in the intersection on both sides and then to make this look a little bit more dimensional I like to do this you've seen me do this lots of times before I go in with some glossy accents and um, you, here you can see that the accents have just been applied they're, they're not dry yet so they're smoky but they dry clear and glossy accents is just great for creating domed areas so it looks like there's glass um, so I've done that on the center uh, the center image and then also the two they're like coin looking images I've, I've added the the uh, glossy accents to that in addition to keep creating this uh, center piece in the front of the crown I thought it might be interesting to have a smaller piece like that in the back of the crown so that if you look at the crown from the back that you've got this little beautiful little display area or images that that are uh, decorating the back of it and then it also covers up where the uh, back pieces of Dresden meet to make the whole circle of the crown. Now, in order to uh, make this a little sturdier because Dresden is pretty flimsy, I cut out uh, two pieces of just uh, decorative paper and uh, glued those two strips behind all of the Dresden. And then I flipped everything over and painted the entire backside gold. And that way, as you see, if you wear the crown and you see little bits of it peeking up, everything blends and it's all, it's all gold. Now I also painted the uh, decorative piece that's going in the back, the back side of that gold as well. And then as additional embellishments, um, I added stars. I added uh, a large star charm to both the uh, front and back of the crown up at the, at the top of the decorative pieces. And then I also came in and added some stars on the front that go around uh, the portrait that's, that I use the glossy accents on to just dress it up a little bit more. And then here you see the final images of the whole crown put together. You can see the front view from the front and then you can see the view from the back and then the side view of the crown. So this was, this was a really simple crown. It didn't take me hardly any time to put together. And all I really needed was the collage sheet and a couple of pieces of Dresden. So the whole thing is pretty much, except for the little charms or the our uh, metal little uh, brass charms, is all paper.
For the Elegant Crown, I started with a gold Dresden crown as the base. And to give uh, it more detail and to pull out some of the some of the detail of the um, of the crown, I first painted it black, and then I used the uh, metallic wax, the aged brass, using my fingers and rubbing that onto the crown. And uh, I it I like it as a little bit duller look to it and not such a bright bright gold. And then the next thing I did to for all the images, I use a collage sheet called Portraiture, and it has a lot of different images, uh, portraits of women, period uh, pieces, and they're in various sizes. So I was able to find um, a larger one for the center and then gradually smaller ones going uh, down each side along the crown. Now I backed those with chipboard and, uh, and painted them uh, gold on the back because you can see a little bit of them. Uh, when you go on the other side. Now to further dress up the crown, I added some flat backed pearls do, down at the bottom and then some faux crystals uh, at the top. And I just glued those onto the little peaks of the crown on the front of those peaks. And then in the center, I glued a larger one to the back of the center portrait. And then they have, um, they have holes in them for hanging. And so to cover up that hole and again, bring some more interest, I put some flat back beads on top of those pearls, just like I did on the bottom, on top of that hole. And then that dressed it up a little bit more. And then uh, the next thing I did was create uh, all of these beaded pins. And I started out with two different stick pins, one with a pearl uh, color top and the other one with kind of a, a, a brown color. And I threaded beads on each one of these um, uh, these stick pins and then I glued the stick pin in between um, the the uh, crown in the front and then I put on the back a piece of chipboard to cover up the back and also to give me a place to glue that stick pin in between. Now um, before I actually started adding all the stuff to the crown I used it to trace the uh, the back of the back piece that I was going to use. And so I did actually did that first so that I would have that. I painted that uh, gold as well. And you see that in the, in the finished picture. And then that kind of finishes up the back and makes it a little bit stiffer since um, Dresden isn't that sturdy. And then uh, the last thing I did was to uh, create something to accommodate the, uh, the ribbon that will tie the crown on is I punched a hole in each end of the crown. And then I took a piece of Dresden and did the same thing. I didn't paint it black first, but I did take the antique, uh, the metal metallic wax and rub that on there. So I get a little, little bit different gold color, but it's not that really bright, bright gold. And then I also punched the same hole in that uh, piece of Dresden and then glued that to the back. Then next I tied it, I fished through a ribbon tied a knot in that ribbon, and then kind of put a little glue around it to keep it in place. And once that dried, I snipped it as close as I could, and then I uh, added a rondelle, uh, or not a rondelle, a, a bead cap, on top of that, uh, on top of that little nub of, uh, of the um, ribbon, so that that would kind of hide it and you, you wouldn't see that and it would look good. And I ended up putting a little clamp on it to keep it really tight. And I, I did use E6000 um, since it would be under some pressure with the, uh, the knot underneath it. And then uh, that pretty much fi finishes the, um, the construction of the crown. And then here you can see the finished picture of the crown in the front. And then you can also see the crown in the back. You can see the, the backing that I put on there and how everything is gold in the back. So it looks good if you see it from the back. And then you can see the ribbon tied in the back. For the Ice Queen crown, I started with a Dresden crown, gold crown, just like I did for the crown we went through before, the, the elegant crown. And I glued it to a piece of chipboard and then just trimmed it up a bit, sprayed it with silver, and then went ahead and cut out the shape. Now the support for the crown is wire, a wire circle, or I should say um, more of an oblong shape. Uh, 
I took fun wire and put it around my own head to come up with the cir circumference of the wire and then twisted that off and then just kept wrapping it with more and more fun wire. If you're not familiar with fun wire, it is a plastic coated wire. So it's very easy to bend and it's very, it's thicker. And so you're able to use a thicker wire because of the plastic uh, and it makes it easier to bend than if you were using a very heavy gauge wire. And so I just kept wrapping it until I felt it was sturdy enough. I didn't worry about it being pretty. It was more about just kind of getting it even and getting it stiff enough that I thought it would support all the stuff that's going to go on the front. Once I had done that, I uh, took this uh, leaf ribbon, the silver leaf ribbon, and then wrapped that around the crown uh, in the area where I was not going to have the front of the crown. So it, it goes pretty much... Um, from the side all the way around to the back. And, and you know, you whatever you're gonna put in front, if you're gonna do what I'm gonna do, you might wanna hold up the uh, crown part to the wire circle and just see where it's going to end. And then that's where you wanna start your ribbon. And then to continue to give it this icy look and jazz that circle up, I added some uh, acrylic bead sprays. Uh, these little acrylic sprays, they're clear, and I colored them with uh, alcohol ink. and there are two really good colors, alcohol ink, that will give you this um, kind of icy blue look. And for the, um, for the sprays, I used the uh, denim uh, alcohol ink. And then uh, once I did that, I just wrapped those, uh, took the wires from those and wrapped those also around the area where I also put the leaves. So you've got the wire, you've got the uh, silver leaf ribbon, and then now you've got these blue sprays going around that whole backside. To go along with this project, I have two new collage sheets and a new digital image kit. And uh, the two collage sheets are a sheet of silver leaves, and then the other is a sheet of gold leaves. And then the digital kit contains all of the leaves that are on the silver and the gold collage sheets, plus eight additional copper leaves. And so you're going to see me use the silver leaves to uh, decorate the front of this crown. Now to jazz up the silver leaves, what I did was I used Twinklets Diamond Dust, and so I applied glossy accents to the leaves once I cut them out, and then uh, sprinkled the uh, diamond dust on top of the leaf, and you can see the leaves I used here, um, you can see uh, an image where uh, on one side it's got the uh, diamond dust on it and the other side it doesn't. So you can see what an effect it has and in, even it, to the naked eye, you know, not a camera, but if you were, if you were to see it, it's even more sparkly than, than what you see there. So you can see the three different examples of the leaves with the diamond dust on those. And then in addition to using leaves to decorate the front, I also used these uh, picks, these glittered picks. And um, the one of the picks, Alpha Stamps has run out of those, so they've got a different one that's slightly different than the one I use. So uh, the one, one of the ones I use, the one that you'll see colored blue, uh, they still have that. And then they've got a different one to replace the ones that are still silver. Um, and so what I did to color those, uh, those picks, the blue, is I used a, uh, an alcohol ink, another one, and it's the color Stonewashed. So as I mentioned earlier, both Stonewashed and denim, denim are good colors to give you that icy blue. And to um, get the, uh, the uh, uh, alcohol ink on the picks, you know, you could, you could paint it on just like I did uh, with the, um, the, uh, the uh, crystal things on wires, or you could just make a little bath, and that's what I did. I just took some uh, aluminum foil and just made a little bathtub and uh, put it in there. And, uh, and then I also put some of the blending solution to thin it out a little bit and just swished those uh, glittery picks in there to get them coated with the blue. And I didn't worry about every little tiny bit of it being blue, just so that a lot of the pick was the color blue. So once I glued the leaves and the picks to the back of the crown, the uh, piece of Dresden with the chipboard back. Um, then it was time to attach the crown. And so you can see that I've glued the front of the wire, uh, a wire uh, uh, piece that I wrapped the leaves and the crystal stuff on. Um, you can see now that I'm gluing the front of that to the back of the crown part. And 
I used E6000 and I clamped it down with uh, a bunch of clamps and I was very generous with the glue. Um, you're going to cover it with something so you can just really glob on the glue so that you get a really, really good connection. And then once that was done, then I added another piece. Now, just like with the fancy crown before um, I started gluing things to the, the, uh, the crown, the picks and all in the leaves, I also... Um, I also uh, made a tracing of that crown so that I could cut out a chipboard piece that would fit behind there and pretty much follow the same shape and use that to put that uh, backing on. And that way it cleaned all that back area up. It protects the head from the wire. So you've got that, uh, that piece on and it's, it's uh, I, I did a chipboard and then uh, a uh, kind of a matching uh, cardstock and then uh, glued that all on place on top of that. And that also helps to secure the leaves and the picks. And then, like I say, it hides everything and it protects your forehead from, if you want extra want to wear this, from, uh, from the wire. Now, another decorative element I decided to add to the center of the crown was I wanted some, some something that was icicles. And so um, what I did is I used these uh, little plastic icicles to make the centerpiece. So I glued four together and I used um, E6000, I glued four together and then I glued additional ones that were sticking up um, once I, I got the, once those others dried. So that way I ended up with this piece in the center where the icicles stick out in every different direction. And then another thing that I decided to add was I also decided to add some uh, wired beads. And so, so I took some just thin wire and uh, glued some silver and uh, also some faux pearl beads onto the wire and then stuck those into the crown. And I did that after I put the back piece on because even though you put that back piece on, you've still got a lot of room to poke things in there and glue things in there. So I did that. And then um, Alice M started carrying this other uh, beaded wire and it, it was clear beads and they were different sizes. And so I also cut pieces of those and added that on the crown and um, put those in there as well. And so now you've got all these little spindly things protruding up above the, the, uh, the picks and the, and the leaves. And of course, I'm always looking at the crown once I get it to a certain point and thinking, oh, I need something else. And so I ended up adding another leaf, another uh, diamond dust covered leaf to the center. And then I got to looking at it some more and I said, well, you know, I like something that dangles down. So I've got these little faux crystals that I have um, that I've added to the bottom and I just use jump rings to put those on. And I, again, I used the alcohol ink to color them because they're clear. And then um, I'm looking at it some more and I decide to add some little flat back uh, silver beads along the base of the crown. I ended up adding some blue rhinestones. Uh, and then I also uh, ended up adding all of the uh, gray looking, silvery looking uh, uh, pearls there on a stick. So um, a wire so that you can easily put that behind the crown and glue it. And then I also added some uh, acrylic snowflakes that are covered in diamond stickles and applied those to the crown. And then now you can see the finished crown with all the picks and the sparkly leaves, then the spiky wired beads sticking up and you've got silver pearls and you've got uh, white pearls and bangles hanging down and then uh, the other be large beads plus all of, the, all, of the, uh, all of the different acrylic snowflakes to make the entire crown. The base of this crown is the same as the Ice Queen crown in that it's wire that I have uh, wrapped in a uh, circle. I used my own hat as the to measure the circumference of what I was going to create. And the only difference is I didn't use the fun wire. I used um, an 18 gauge gold wire and I needed something stiffer because this crown is different than the others in that it's going to be a crown that goes all the way around and it's going to have uh, some metal, uh, more 18 gauge wire sprigs standing up and lots of stuff hanging off of that. So I needed something that was a lot more sturdy and stiff. So um, after wrapping, I think three times around in the circle, um, then I cut a bunch of the sprigs. I think, I've, I think I used 12 and I spaced them about two inches apart. 
and um, I cut uh, those wires and each of those wires was about six inches long, five and six inches. And I, I varied them a little bit and then I wrapped those together and then you can see how, how that looks. And then the next thing I did is inserted those into the base of the crown. And when I wrapped the wire, I didn't wrap it really tight. Uh, and I also didn't worry about it being pretty because there's going to be a lot of other stuff going on top of it. And I didn't wrap it too tight because I wanted to take the ends of those sprigs and poke them through the wrapped wire and then twist them onto the wire. And that way uh, they would be uh, a way of connecting them and then also uh, make it a very sturdy connection. Now, if you want to... Um, if you want to solder those on, you can do that. That would be even even better. But I, I wanted to try doing it without soldering it so that that way, if you weren't comfortable with soldering or you didn't have the equipment to do it, um, that you could see that this could be done without um, having to solder the wires. And so I twisted those wires around and then I did also add a little bit of E6000 um, where I twisted them. And, and I, I have things that I add to this that, that hide that, but just kind of as an extra security measure to make sure that those um, those sprigs stood up and they weren't moving and they're not going to fall or flop over after you start adding all the stuff to it or if you've been wearing the crown for a while. For the main decoration of this crown I am using the leaves from uh, the gold leaf collage sheet and I actually printed the collage sheet twice and flipped one of them so that that way I could have a leaf on the front and the back since you'd be able to see the leaves from both sides on the crown. And I glued the two pieces uh, on a, a thin wire, gold wire. And then um, to make them look even more interesting, give them a little bit more sparkle, I used three different embossing powders. Um, so some leaves are one color of embossing, gold embossing, and some are others. So I have a variety there and I added the embossing powders to the edges and you know some to the inside and then I use some on the veining and I think it just it just jazzes them up quite a bit and then while I was doing that I started working on um, the other uh, decor of the crown which was jazzing up the actual base of the crown and the first thing I did was wrap um, this stitched leaf ribbon, the white ribbon. This is the same ribbon that I used for the Ice Queen crown. The difference is it's just as white. And so I wrapped that all the way around the crown and that, that helped to hide the glue and uh, any other little places that you wanted to cover up. And then in addition to that, I also added some white mulberry leaves and I took those and painted the stamens uh, gold and I also painted the stems gold so that would I didn't want it to look green or yellow, so I wanted I wanted to keep with this gold theme. And so I wrapped those around uh, around the base of the crown. And uh, then uh, at that point, I was ready to go ahead and had my leaves. And so I wrapped the leaves around all the sprigs. And then uh, a couple other added things. I, I wanted to bring the white up a little bit into the crown, so it wasn't just this white at the base and then all this gold in the crown. And so I added a few white elements um, on uh, on those sprigs. And one of them is uh, some butterflies, some white butterflies here and there. And I will have those butterflies for you, uh, or uh, the image of the butterfly, and I will have uh, have that to for you to print and on my blog. And then I also added this these wired uh, pearls. This is the same kind of wiring that I used on the Ice Queen crown, except those were uh, transparent whereas these are pearl. And so I just cut up the string of those and then just added those throughout the crown. And so you've got those going up into the gold. So you do get a little bit of the white creeping up and I think it just gives it a better look overall, a little bit more blended. Now you can see uh, pictures of the completed crown and uh, you get a good look at all the various elements that I walked through that I added to the crown. It's a pretty, pretty easy crown to put together. Um, the most time consuming part is just cutting all the leaves out and uh, doing all the embossing. The rest of it went pretty fast. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on the crowns. Of course, you could make these smaller if you wanted to, if you just wanted them for decor. And uh, But I thought it would be nice to go ahead and make a full-size crown so that if you did want to make one that large, you could see what to do and, and to give you some different ideas of, of making a crown, whether it be just out of paper or something that's just in the front or you know, the last crown here where it's a full 
round crown all the way around. As usual, uh, if you go to my blog, you'll get more details on the project. You'll get more pictures, the supply lists. As usual, Alpha Stamps is carrying pretty much everything I used except for things like the wire. And um, you'll also see information about the collage sheets. So if you're on YouTube, you will find a link to my blog post on this in the description area. If you're on my blog, you're already there.